Hi guys, Stuart and Alan here for Outdoor Basics and today I'm here to talk to you about my new day sack which is the Helicantex Matilda so stay tuned for a full review and I'll cover my loadout This is the Matilda day sack and to say I'm happy with it is a bit of an understatement. I've been using it for the last few weeks now and I've loaded it quite heavy. Um, I even loaded it and went a run with it loaded up. I done like a, a five mile run with it and I was massively happy with the weight on it um, and just how it felt on my back. So I'll give you <coughs> excuse me, some of the specs on it. It's made by a company called Helicon Tex and these are the wee tags that came with it. It's got YKK zips and the zips feel like incredibly robust throughout it and it's a Cordura fabric. The material that it's made out of is a 210D nylon with reinforced a Cordura on the, the stress points they call it, like the base and the base of the pouches and the base of the sack itself. Um, now I, I, I was really kind of initially quite dubious of using getting something with this this that wasn't the kind of Cordura and to say I'm happy with it is, again is an understatement although it is a lighter material it feels incredibly robust it's incredibly water repellent um, it keeps the rucksack nice and light and it's just a really it's actually a really good material I'm, I'm really impressed with this um, so yeah I'll just give you a, a talk around the outside of the day so I can talk about my, my loadout I'll start with the back the back is going to the kind of uh, S-shaped sort of contoured shoulder straps here and these are really comfy, they're quite stiff which I like, I like them quite stiff, I don't like e even big paddy ones, paddy ones if they're floppy they just kind of go bunch up and dig into you, it's uncomfortable so these are quite stiff, uh, really good shape, well designed uh, incredibly comfortable and comfortable with a kind of breathable mesh on the back there um, quick release point here which is good if the rucksack's heavy or what I like about this and a side note what I like about these buckles if you fall and you get a bit of a mechanical injury it can be a mare to get your day sack off and sort yourself out if you fell and broke your leg or done whatever god forbid but to just unclip these and drop your rucksack off your body would make a massive difference in how you could you could help yourself so for me that's a really good wee feature uh, sternum strap that's cool and then the attachment points here for the um, bladder, let's get the slits for the bladder on both sides there but I'll talk about that on the inside the back itself has a like a hard plastic stiffener in it it's quite um, robust and it's got these kind of uh, padded bits down the other side of your spine with this channel to allow ventilation incredibly com comfortable the stiffener in the back, really nice feature, I really like that and again the kind of heavier cordura at the bottom Waist belt, nice thick padded waist belt with, with molly on the sides. Brilliant waist belt, I really like that. I, I like to use the waist belt in a day sack. I like to get the weight up on my hips and spread the load. I don't just like it all on my shoulders. Um, I like to use the waist belt to evenly distribute the weight over my body. Um, again, I've just got a wee dump pouch on this molly bit here to just add. I can pick up kindling or whatever I'm doing as, I, as I'm going about my business so that's a really cool wee feature so that's the back of the day sack and a really robust carry handle here this actually feels solid and what I like about it when you pull it you're not seeing the day sack stretch or the thread stretching you don't feel that the day sack's under excess amounts of duress when you're picking it up um, it's just a, a good robust bit of kit so that's the back stiffener, good quality uh, shoulder straps, fantastic waist belt good sternum strap and throughout the day sack, it's got these wee strap tidies, the Velcro strap tidies, which for, for me is a, is a massive bonus. I hate seeing straps and stuff wanging everywhere. And then I've just got the old pay speeds there for nav. Moving round to the front of the day sack then. As you can see, it's got these three massive pouches on the front here. Um, and, and these are huge, these are absolutely ample pouches. Uh, and this is the made of the, the 210D which although and it might seem thin and flimsy, it really isn't. It's a mega robust material and it feels incredibly robust on the day sack. Also on these pouches, it's got a 
slip down the back, you can see on this one, I've got my wee Mora cam packs, just slips down the back there right through, perfect. Um, each one of them has the old tie locks, the snow locks at the top, so you can get everything in, get it tied down, and uh, look after your kit. And it's got the, again, the buckles here. On the side, on the side, ample molly on either side, and again, with a retention strap, or the compression strap on the side of the day sack. Once you've got your molly on, your molly pouch on, just get it nice and tight. And then using these wee tieaways, these wee strap tidies, which as I've said, fantastic wee bit of kit. So that's the front. So like I said, I'm just gonna, and the buckles as well, the buckles feel incredibly solid. And as I've said, a wee bit of extra cordura on the bottom here and drainage holes. The buckles, all solid. They don't feel cheap and flimsy throughout. Robust, good quality product. Um, and again, simple wee things make all the difference. See the wee strap tidies just here? Stitched on to just hold the strap up when you let it go, it doesn't just flop all the way down. So I said I would do my loadout, so I'm going to do my loadout. Sorry, I'll go from left to right. On the left here, I've just got my first aid kit. Um, nice and obvious, really simple, just in a warrior pouch. Bang it open, pull my first aid pouch out. Uh, dead easy access. Marked with my first aid pouch. Moving round in this front pouch here. This is where I have my full cook system. What I've tried to do with my system is be able to do everything without getting into the main body of my day sack. So I've got my axe, a wee Mora cam packs, just on the front there. And inside this pouch, this will make sense why I've got the Mora cam packs there. So in this pouch, I've got my wee backhoe lap lander. So between my axe and my saw, I can go and get and then process wood. I've got my fire kit here for getting a fire on the go. So I can get a nice fire. And then I have my Dave Canterbury Pathfinder cook set. Um, so basically I can stop, get my wood, get a fire on the go and start making scran immediately or get a hot wet on immediately. And I do carry rations in there as well. And you'll see that when this is in there, Down it just pushes down, no bother at all. And then there's still loads of room, um, and even with the back hole in there, there's loads of room. I think I can fit three rations in there, three packs of rations, three mains I just put in, really simply, easy. So as soon as I stop, I can get a fire on the go, and get some food or a wet on the go, simple. So that's, that's this pouch, first aid pouch, and then kind of food slash hot wets. In the middle, I've just got my warmers. Um, and this, just in the big orange day sack, yes, yeah, stuff sack. All I've got warmers wise is just a duty snug pack. Um, I got, I should that when I was still on the forces, and I just think it's a cracking bit of kit. Mega warm, and, and why spend money? I don't need to spend money on it when I've got one that's, it lasted me my whole time in the military. And, which thinks a good bit of kit. So yeah, snug pack. And then moving on here to this side. My tarp. A tarp, although it's in a DD pouch, the tarp I'm using just now is just a duty issue British military bivy. So you can see with these three front pouches, and um, before I in fact I'll cover what's on this side pouch as well. Then in this pouch, I've heard people call it escape evasion pouches and whatever, survival pouches, and that's what this is for me, it is everything in here, I have absolutely everything in here. I have a mini survival tin loaded with equipment, I have a fire starting kit, I have a food procurement kit, like fishing kit, slingshot, um, trapping kit, all sorts of stuff in there. I have a Sawyer mini filter, I have loads of paracord, I have one of the wee... Uh, I just got this actually, I got this for my birthday. Uh, a Polymath Products Mini Compass. You can see it's attached there. Because the wee button compasses are great, but you end up dropping it or having a mirror. Whereas this, this is glow in the dark and it's attached to me. Um, I'll do a separate video on what's in this pouch because there's so much stuff in this pouch. It, it, it has a whole video on its own, but this pouch is pretty much everything. 
and it's all redundancies, it's all my redundancies. This is a, a standalone pouch that I could I could make a decent dig at being at surviving on a own and then just a, a kind of basic, reasonable, cheap but functioning fixed blade knife on the side, full tang as well. Just listen that off. Put that back on. Yeah, so that's that pouch. But and it's got the some 550 fire lighting cord just here for cordage. But I'll do a separate video on that. Um, just in the top here, I can put anything I need. Any of you odds and sods just go on the top here. So, with this all here, you can see, before I've even went into the main, the main day sack, I can stop, get a shelter up, get some warm kit on, get myself a hot drink on the go, and fix any boo-boos that I have without even getting into the main day sack and I know everything's in an independent pouch and it's easy to fix and I have my emergency slash redundancy pouch on the side, quick easy access we, like I said with things like Sawyer mini filters um, mini survival kits, emergency fire lighting kit emergency food, uh, food procurement kit everything there and that's what I like about this day sack it's all in good quality pouches on the outside it's a neat, tidy, com compact uh, unit just good to go ok, moving inside like I said, I've got my top pouch here. Uh, it's also got a kind of cool wee Velcro bit there. Um, my kids love getting me morale patches. That's like what they kind of get me for my birthday. They got me the kind of uh, B positive, no known allergies, and then just the duty uh, commando trained schmucker Velcro pop on one. Um, and then just this one. Uh, so my kids love getting me morale patches. Inside, we in a net mesh bag. Uh, really good solid mesh as well, it's not cheap. Everything, everything about this day sack feels good quality and all I've got is just a spare fleece hat and a pair of kind of good quality gloves with a finger bit for working my mobile phone. Again it's got another row of molly round the top there as well as the molly pouches on the side. Yeah, another wee row of molly there in case you want to put anything on and all of the pouches have that slip down capability. On the top of the day sack, it's a double lock down, so it's got the outer kind of snow lock and then the inner one, so you can get that double double done up. Good quality string, um, just good quality material, feels solid throughout. Something that I really like about this, right, is this. It's got another row of molly, just a kind of molly flat, just in the inside. And all I've did is I took my commander's panel for when I was in the military and I've made that a possibles pouch. Um, so if I'm facing my day sack like this, I need to get any of the odds and sods. And even when my day sack's completely filled, that just sits on the top on that molly panel there. I can just unzip it, fold it out, and I've got my wee possibles pouch. In my possibles pouch, I've got a strop, mini sharpening stone, extra paracord, some gorilla tape, spare lighter. Whistle, mini mag light, notepad, and I usually carry spare batteries for all my torches in there as well. Um, so yeah, I really like that. I just think that's cool as anything. Plus it gives me an excuse to use a pouch I had. Um, so that just sits like that inside the day sack. And when it's full, it can sit on top like that. Really handy, cool wee feature. Inside here, like I said, uh, if you look at the side like I mentioned earlier, on both sides, it is the slit for your bladder. So your bladder would just clip on here. Clip your bladder on and just sit it in the inside there. Um, and then put it through. On this sit panel here, you can see the stiffener that it has. The kind of alloy down the centre. Hard plastic and then the alloy stiffener down the centre. Really like it. Really, really like it. Good quality zip again. On the inside, what have I got? Um, I've just got my waterproof jacket. Uh, what one have I got with me today? I've got a. Uh, my God, why have I forgot the name? It. A ridge line, a ridge line, something or other. Pintail maybe. I don't know. No, I don't know. Just one of my ridge lines. I've got a good ridge line. Waterproof. I like that. I like that jacket a lot. It's the quiet takes one. It doesn't rustle when you're using it. Um, and then just a 16 centimetre, 16 centimetre billy can that was full of scran, but me and my. A little boy and stuff just scrammed her head off, so that was good. Um, so yeah, as you can see, 
I like, I like everything having a pouch and everything having a place. I like to know where everything is in my day sack. I don't like it when people are pulling everything out of their day sack to find something. I like to know where it is for when I want it. Um, so everything's as easy to use and get to as possible. It's all very well and good packing your day sack in your house and then you go out and it starts to piss for the heavens and you're having a fucking mare and you're pulling your kit all over the show. It just starts to break down. I plan everything for if I had to be out for a wee bit longer could I administer myself properly and take care of myself in the field? And if the answer's no, well, I need to re readdress and relook at my kit. And I feel the pouches on this day, day sack that come with it and the Molly abilities, or PAL's abilities, um, just takes it to the next level. So this Helicon Text Matilda day sack, um, which I think is 35 litres. Don't quote me, I'll double check that actually, I'll put it in the description. Um, but with these add-ons is more than adequate for me, more than adequate for me. As you can see, I've got my shelter, I've got warm kit, I've got a full cook kit, fire lighting kits, wood uh, processing kits, a massive pot that's full of food, waterproof, first aid, emergency survival kit, and uh, some extra warmers, and I've got some sweet chilli sauce, because life isn't complete, how can you eat stuff in the woods without sweet chilli sauce? It's ludicrous. Um, and I've got a full pouch on the top as well, it's empty, that I could fill with stuff. I've got more than enough space. So yeah, Helicon Tex seems to be a brand that I've kind of... I've only just heard about, it was by accident I heard about this and I became quite hot on it. Um, as you can see I'm wearing this cool Helicon Tex fleece. Um, the reason it's MTP, I know MTP is a bit sad. Um, or, you know, the kind of uh, multicam stuff's a bit sad. The reason it's multicam is my little boy got a multicam fleece and he wanted me to get the same one. Um, so for my birthday, which was recently, uh, one of my mates bought me... Thank you, Jerry, you're a legend. Bought me this uh, Helicon Tex Multicam fleece for my for my birthday. And I, I'm going to trial it for a wee bit longer, but as I can say, I'm massively into the Helicon Tex brand, and so far it's been brilliant. And I get the Chad is your dad um, morale patches for my kids for my birthday, so that is what it is. So yeah, Helicon Tex, have a look at their stuff. I know there's a bag... Oh God, what's it called? Alan, do you remember? Which one? The one that I'm wanting? Yeah. Uh, the bailout. Is it a bailout bag? Aye. Uh, Harry can text bailout bag. Stay tuned for that. Aaron's going to one of them to use his camera equipment in. Um, we're only sponsored by Harry can text or anything like that. I wish I was sponsored by something like that. would be great, wouldn't it? Or the free gear, the top. But we only, it's just a brand that, like, if it was shit, I'd tell you the truth. Just, I'm, I'm massively impressed with this ja uh, bag and this jacket so far. And the bailout bag for looking after Aaron's camera equipment and being able to kind of lay it out and use it. Seems really good. So yeah, this is the loadout that I've been using for the last wee while, and this is the day sack that I've been using, and this is my new fleece. If you like what we're doing, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, um, all that good sound and stuff. And uh, thank you so very much for watching. As always, I've been Stuart, he's been Alan, and you've been awesome. this game.